The word Janna. What does Janna mean to you? What does Janna mean to me? Um, perfection. Everything that my heart desires um, without me even knowing it. Seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unfathomable to the human mind. But, you know, uh, your heart races just when you, when you think of it. Um, reuniting with everybody who you love, everybody who you miss. Just perfection, bliss. How often do you think about Jannah on a daily basis? It's my motivating push every single day. Um, when times get rough and I just, you know, feel like I, I, I can't continue, I, I just, I try to envision. You can envision it, of course, but I trust that it's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and He knows us more than anyone. If we struggle enough in this dunya and we, we make it through, I know it, it's, it has to be something incredible. Tell me about your Jannah. Everyone's Jannah is the same. What does the Noor section of Jannah look like? Just reuniting with my husband. And um, seeing him in his um, perfection. To me, he was perfect in this life, so I can't imagine how perfect he would be in Jannah. Being with my family, um, my kids, my parents, everybody who came before us of the righteous and um, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and things that I, I didn't even know that I, I wanted just appearing in front of my eyes. Well, it's been a long journey, long life, long day of judgment. Alhamdulillah, you're reuniting with your family. You're sitting in the living room of your palace and uh, it's quiet and everyone's kind of looking at you and waiting for your first words. What are you going to say to everybody? Allahu Akbar. We're promised that, you know, one dip into Jannah and we'll forget all of the hardship that we've ever been through. And I, I can't imagine how that would feel. But again, I trust that it's just the fact, like how perfect is it that you, you are just going to be able to forget everything um, that you struggled with in this dunya, um, all of the trials, all of the heartbreak, you know, sadaqta, ya Allah, like I, I, this, this, this is what you promised us. And I'm so happy to be here. You know, you've met the Prophet Sallallahu now. You reunited with your family, kind of all celebrating together, rejoicing together. And then everyone's got a slot for their first meeting with Allah. Allah wants to welcome you to Jannah. There's no interrogation here, no accountability. Just Allah wants to welcome you to Jannah. And they say, Noor, it's your turn. You go and you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the first words you're going to say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I would say it's only by your mercy and your love. I can't like take credit for it. Like thank you for for granting me this 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 paradise. Thank you for helping me, you know, keep me on this straight path. If I tried, Ya Allah, I would I would like whenever whenever you do something really good and you get a A plus on an exam and you can't wait to like rush home and, and share it with your family and your parents. You want that validation. And it would just be like the most incredible sense of validation in the world coming from your creator. So it's a gathering of Sahaba and prophets. It's Friday in Jannah, Jummah in Jannah. Like go walk up to anybody and have a conversation with them. Other than the Prophet Sallallahu your family. Who's one person you really want to go up to and have a conversation with and just hang out for a day in Jannah with? Hi, Shadadullah. Um, who is this incredible woman who Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he he loved so much. She must be incredible. Um, and I would just feel so honored to spend the day with her and any question you'd ask her in particular. How does it feel to be so beloved? To Prophet Muhammad You know, you've been separated from your kids during the Day of Judgment, so it's been a while, and you just got the news, alhamdulillah, they're there too. 
So your kids run up to you, hug their mom after this long journey. How are you congratulating them? What are you saying to your kids? You did it, mama. You did it. You passed the only test that is important. You did it.